Today we're going to wire up this uh, transfer switch. Very simple procedure to do. A um, couple things you got to realize. You got red and black wires. You got to match up your wires. On these uh, transfer switch, usually the wires are labeled. They'll have the A and B and C all the way through F. Um, this one is a used unit, so I had a hard time, so I had to label them, find them and label them myself. Um, so not, not that hard to do. Um, so let's get right to it. I'm working in a live panel. I don't recommend that at all. And if you're not comfortable working around electricity, call an electrician. It's that simple. A um, little bit pricey, but you're not going to burn down your house. And this is dangerous if you're doing what I'm doing. Uh, but I need my lights. So I'm going to do it with a live box. Um, it's very simple, but crazy at the same point. Here we go. You can turn off your master switch. That will kill the power from the switch down. Those will still be live. I'm not doing that because I need my basement lights. I tried doing it with the flashlight and I don't, I don't like it. So I'll just kill off the power to each fuse right here. When I do that, this power here is not live. Okay? It is not live. So right now I'm going to wire up the bathroom. I have that labeled as B. I'm going to trim these so I have new wire heads on it. I can take this tape off so it's not cumbersome anymore. Throw that right on the ground. And we will trim both wires. And we'll strip it back about, you can strip it, I go about half inch or better, 5 eighths. Keep it pretty uniform. Okay. Now we are going to just twist that wire together. This is not a solid piece. It's a fiber type setup. Okay, we already killed the power to the breaker, so we have no fear of this wire being live. But you still be cautious. And I, I'm using a good screwdriver that has coating on it just in case. I highly recommend them. They're not any more money. Okay. Again, I'm being extra cautious because I have a hot box here. Which is insane. I'm sure everybody's going to be freaking out on it. So now I'm going to set these two wires together. And I'm going to cap them. So screw on cap. Screw it on. Till it stops, till it's nice and tight. Some people will go to the extent of taping that too. Not a bad idea. There's no such thing as a overkill in an electric box, I don't think. And we're going to keep the wires nice and neat and pressed in. We're going to take this red wire. We don't want any tanglement, so this red wire is going to go into that fuse. If you see what I'm doing here. I tuck it right in, and now I'm going to tighten that up, keeping my hands free of touching any metal. Okay, so as I do that, I make sure all my fuses are in the neutral position, off. I don't have it on the line. I don't have it on the generator. After I get done wiring this up, I can turn that on. That'll be lined so the circuitry will be live and everything that you're feeding will, uh, will be running. When the power goes out, you don't have to shut this off. You can leave it on. You just switch these to generator mode. When I do my... Uh, this is my well. This is, uh, it says 220 breakers, so it's a 40 amp setup on this. I'm going to use two units together. 
this type, you can't screw them together. So it's imperative if you do it this way that you turn those on and off simultaneously so you don't mess it up. But that's it in a nutshell. I can do another one if you want, but I'm going to turn this back on. And right now it's still dead power because I don't have that. Uh, this will be the B breaker, so I don't have this on yet. I'm going to leave them all off for now. So this is off on the living room lights. We're going to power up the living room lights now. I'm going to be looking for my C. I have it labeled as C. I have to go here and look. And there is C. The method to my madness, they're the shortest runs. I had it zip tied just to keep them out of entanglement there. I'm going to do that tape for now. We're going to trim them. My strippers. Don't tell my wife I got a stripper. That wasn't, even, that wasn't funny. Okay, again we'll twist those wires together and after I show you this last one, you guys will be on your own. It's that simple. Black goes to black. We're going to want to keep everything neat. So tuck them in appropriately. And I think I gotta go because this wire on this is just a tad thicker. Remember, I have a live box. Don't do this. If you're not comfortable, call an electrician. Always be safe. As you're doing it, take your time, don't get nervous, and you'll have a good outcome. It's that simple. All right, peace out.